Opioids have impacted my family by, they, did, they weren't concerned about getting enough rest. And then you start seeing the, the paraphernalia. I would find like tin foil with like black stuff all over it, like in my room or in her room, or, like in the kitchen. She got like, like really mean and she got like super like skinny and she would always like nod out. My son's an example. He was pretty bad. We thought we were going to lose him for a while. He didn't care about anybody but himself and getting the next high uh, stole from me. When you're helping other folks, other people, when, to help them when they're through their recovery, it's good to be supportive. It's mainly about asking, you know, letting them know we care and trying to keep the hope alive. I try to just be the person that I needed when I was in my active addiction, and that would be just to like love them, be there, support them. I try to encourage them. Uh, I do a lot of just listening to them, and when they're ready, they're ready. For me, it was, I was there always. If he, he just wanted to talk, I would listen, and he always had a home. I have a really good friend, and she's always my support and she has gone through the same situation with three of her kids before I went through it with mine. I was having a rough time. Um, I was getting unbalanced. I felt like I was getting torn apart by other people, and I thought, wait, I need to get back in touch with myself to take care of myself, and that's called self-care. I cannot help other people unless I take care of myself. What I did to de-stress is to uh, either like lie down for a little bit or just take a deep breath outside. I think the best way to encourage your loved one to get help is just loving them through it no matter what. I think that connection is the opposite of addiction and I believe by just being there for your family and not rejecting them and making them feel like an outsider, I think that's like the best thing you can do. One of the things that I believe helps people with their opioid disorder and struggling is kindness and treating them how you would want to be treated. My mom went to jail and then she got into the MAP program at the Celeste Clinic. Life is really good now because every day we have a routine to let go. I go to school and then she goes to work and we come home and she makes dinner. I'm proud of my mom because she's working really hard when he chose to get help, I was a happy mother, and I thanked God for answering my prayers. I still continue to be a caregiver, I think, today because I support him in what he's doing, and, and I'm always there if he needs an answer to a question or he just needs a hug. Mom's there, and if you're going through the same thing, I say don't give up on him. There's always hope. Never give up trying. To learn more, text opioids to 97779 to receive videos, quizzes, and more to grow your knowledge about opioids and learn how you can be an effective advocate for your community. Also visit the Northwest Portland Area Indian Health Board's website at www.npaihb.org forward slash opioid for information, fact sheets, and videos about opioids.